so hey everyone uh, this video is about how to perform the fuzzing on can uh, this video is a part of a blog that i wrote in medium uh, it's a three part three series blog uh, three part series blog on where i uh, spoke about how to perform the car hacking how to do the fuzzing uh, and a lot of stuff if you want to have a look at that uh, you can visit medium.com slash uh, at yogesh oj uh, you can see the three part series blog there and probably you can have a look at it so if we wanted to fuzz the can frames so here in, in the setup that you see uh, we are trying to fuzz the can frames on ic sim so this simulator uh, is there if you if you want to perform the car hacking and chip uh, this simulator is readily available so if you want to perform the fuzzing on this can uh, sorry simulator uh, especially in tachometer uh, this is this video will be very useful for you and and uh, on a real car this pretty much works the same so there is not a lot of dif difference uh, except for a few things so if you before before we perform the fuzzing one thing uh, that you need to understand is how the data packets are working so in our case if you see right now um, the moment when I press the up arrow key, uh, the throttle gets increased, right? So that means if you see, uh, the second last and last bytes are the one which are getting changed. So it's a five, uh, so if you, if you go to connections, so if you wanted to do the uh, fuzzing, we can go to send frames and click on fuzzing. Um, one new window will open up. And the number of data bytes that we're going to send is of course five, because uh, if you see, there are only five bytes of data that are being sent on the tachometer. Um, and, and start ID is 0x244 this is what we have identified earlier um, then probably yeah so one of the really nice thing about this interface is that you can choose each bits and each bytes to uh, what to perform okay so in our case uh, if you see the first three bytes are not getting changed right so to do that uh, your uh, savvy can provides an interface where you can set the bits to be always zero that can be done by clicking this multiple times and setting setting it to white so that means uh, you have set the first byte to always zero so that's not going to get first so similarly we're going to do it for second uh, and third as well and we will perform the fuzzing only in uh, fourth and fifth yeah so this means that we're going to fuzz only fourth and uh, say third and fourth uh, bytes counting from zero yeah so we'll click and start fuzzing and you can see uh, the tachometer gets uh, changed right but you, you can you can uh, set it to sequential or you can set it to random uh, depending on what you want uh, so right now i set it to sequential so of course the tachometer will increase sequentially and then go back to its original position uh, so one of the really cool thing uh, so when, when I click and start fuzzing you can see the first three bytes are now getting changed so you might ask hey if I wanted to set the limit max limit or minimum limit how do I do that or maybe if I want to set the first byte to always uh, something how do I do that so Savikan provides that interface and to do that is suppose um, if you want to send the first byte to always 8 the way you do it uh, so the way you have to interpret 8 in terms of 2 to the power n so 2 power n 2 power 3 is 8 right so we're gonna set this to always so black means always set okay so the rest of the things are uh, you know uh, a zero so when i click and start first you can say so you can see here the first byte is always uh, 8 right so similarly if i want to send uh, the second uh, that that's like uh, around uh, 2 power 2 4 so if i want to always set 12 that's 0c in terms of hex right so this always sets the value to hex so similarly now uh, in the th uh, fourth and fifth frame if uh, sorry fourth and fifth byte if you want to send the max limit to probably uh, 10 so the way we do is uh, we express 10 in terms of 2 power n so that's going to be 2 power 3 plus 2 power 1 right so we'll set this to uh, So that's 10 uh, and then we'll set the rest of these to white and we'll set this to fuzz. So if you see our value will never go beyond 10. If you see the fourth and fifth uh, on the uh, window that is be behind, the maximum that it can go is 10. That's, that, that's how you perform it. So that's pretty much about fuzzing. There's a lot of things that you can do. Probably you can try out a lot of things in the savvy can, download the savvy can and then just get started.